Vienna, Reuters, a collapse of the Iran nuclear deal would be a euro or a great loss a euro, the UN atomic watchdog a euro trademark s chief warned US President Donald Trump on Monday, giving a wide-ranging defense of the accord and his agents a euro trademark s work under it. Trump has threatened to withdraw the United States from the accord between Tehran and six world powers, signed in 2015 before he took office, unless Congress and European allies help a euro f as a euro it with a follow-up pact. Trump does not like the Diala euro trademark s limited duration, among other things. Iran has stayed within the Diala euro trademark s restrictions since Trump took office but has fired diplomatic warning shots at Washington in recent weeks. It said on Monday that it could rapidly enrich uranium to a higher degree of purity if the deal collapsed. A euro or if the Jake Poe were to fail, it would be a great loss for nuclear verification and for multilateralism. A euro International Atomic Energy Agency, IAEA, Chief Yuki Yamano said in a speech to his agency a euro trademark S35 Nation Board of Governors, using the Diala euro trademark S official name, the Joint Comprehensive Plan of Action. Amano, whose agency polices the Diala Euro trademark s nuclear restrictions, later gave his most wide-ranging defense of the accord to date, listing numbers of buildings inspected, images captured, and even seals placed on equipment since the accord was put into effect. A Euro or FIAEA now has the world a Euro trademark s most robust verification regime in place in Iran. We have had access to all locations that we needed to visit a euro the veteran Japanese diplomat told a news conference after his speech. Amano declined to comment on the position of the United States or any other country, but his remarks were clearly a response to Trump a euro trademark s threat to scupper the accord, which also lifted painful economic sanctions against Iran. A euro we have carried out more than 60 complementary accesses and visited more than 190 buildings since Jake Poe implementation day a euro he said, referring to a specific type of inspection under the IAEA a euro trademark s additional protocol, which Iran is implementing under the deal. Washington is telling European allies it wants a follow-on agreement that a euro or inches strong IAEA inspection saw euro according to a State Department cable obtained by Reuters last month. That suggests that, from Washington a Euro trademark s standpoint, there is something deficient about the current inspection system. Trump and his ambassador to the United Nations, Nikki Haley, have made similar comments. But diplomats familiar with the IAEA a Euro trademark s thinking have said the Trump administration a Euro trademark s view arises from a poor understanding of how the IAEA does its work in Iran. Warning shots. Iran said on Monday it could produce higher enriched uranium within two days if it were no longer bound by the deal. A Euro or if America pulls out of the deal. Iran could resume its 20% uranium enrichment in less than 48 hours a euro Biraus Kamal Vandi, spokesman for the Atomic Energy Organization of Iran, told state-run Arabic language Al Alam TV. Iran is not allowed to enrich uranium beyond 3.67% fissile purity under the deal, a level that is suitable for fueling some civilian nuclear power stations and far short of the 80-90% to that is considered weapons grade. Kamal Vandi, reiterating Tehran a Euro trademark s official stance, said the nuclear deal is not renegotiable. The other countries that signed the deal, Germany, Britain, France, Russia, and China, are committed to preserving it. As mentioned in a quarterly IAEA report on Iran last month, Amano said in his speech that the agency had requested clarification from Iran about its plans for nuclear-powered naval vessels, suggesting the IAEA has still not heard back from the Islamic Republic. Iran has long said publicly that it intends to develop nuclear propulsion for naval vessels, though analysts and diplomats say that remains a distant prospect. It formally notified the IAEA of that intention in January in what was widely seen as a rebuff to pressure from Trump.